I'm Anna Kendrick. I'm Ben Affleck. And I'm gone. When I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. When I'm gone. Those are the cops I'm doing. When I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair. You're gonna miss me everywhere. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. What the f are you doing? Uh, that was definitely part of it for sure. Can we just talk about the stunts? This guy? It was, uh, there was definitely a lot of you know action in the movie, and I had to remember, memorize a lot of fight sequences. And fight sequences! Kind of I love kind of fight sequences. My first audition was for Annie, both like when I was five years old and auditioning for a community theater, and my first like professional audition when I was 10 years old was for the Broadway revival of Annie. I did not get the job. I'm very excited. We're supposed to start in January, but they tell me nothing. I had a great time working with Ben because he's uh, rational. That's always good. Not crazy is actually pretty high. That's that's high praise that's the, in this that's, industry. That's the bar. Yeah. Not crazy. <laughs> Anna's not crazy either. So oh, that was you. nice. Yeah. Thank you. I was just telling Ben. I never really had a thing for him until I saw this movie, The Accountant. <laughs> oh wow! It was, it was, uh, there was a love connection happening on this carpet. That's exciting. Yes. Uh, Amazing, this dress is killer. Thank you so much. I know it's kind of it's like too punk rock for me. I feel like I have to like pitch down my voice. No. Where most you know, I have a low voice and I'm in a serious movie. Yeah, black yeah. dress. Black <laughs> dress off the shoulder. There are leather straps and stuff. You should be afraid of me and this film. We're coming to blow your mind. Damn it, I my voice went high pitched again. Uh, trains him basically as yeah. a as when he's check out these guns, check out these guns. Call this one pitch. Call this one perfect. Mm. That's great. I would, I would crush. I would crush it in an action movie. I'm sure you would. I guess it would have been Sundance Film Festival, and I probably would have um, smiled the size of my head until, you know, when your eyes get super small. And, and I probably would have been wearing flared jeans. Uh, yeah, that's a fond memory. Thanks for bringing that up. Flared jeans. Oh, what a mess. I really was one of those kids that like tried soccer and was like, this is awful. I wanted to be a performer for as long as I can remember. I, think I never really had a backup plan. <laughs> Ooh. There were days when I was like, I'm doing a lot of the legwork here. And I actually watched it and I'm like, somehow like through this character that he just worked on so much and researched uh, so deeply, he is so charismatic and you completely fall in love with him. It is, it's like frustrating to me yeah, that like he has like one line in a whole scene and I'm like still in the whole scene from right, right out from under me. <laughs> it's confusing. Um, honestly, on this set, my trailer was just a normal trailer, but our base camp PA, who Who's the girl who goes, hey, like, get your butt to set. I had my headphones in and she was knocking and found me, like, really getting down to Kendrick Lamar in a way that I um, am not really capable of pulling off. So uh, that was embarrassing and I didn't want to buy my trailer and be cool like Ben. Uh, I'm just finishing shooting now. I got one more day. I'm going to go. Can I just say, one. what has two thumbs and loves superhero movies? What? This guy. Love it. <laughs> love him. <laughs> so Put down that school bus, Dr. Disaster. I love it. <laughs> Yeah. I was in a van driving to set on the last five years. So I was somewhere in Manhattan. And I like uh, did a little video of me like listening to it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is that moment in all movies where like it's downhill from here. Like in all music biopics, they like hear their song on the radio and they're like, we're gonna be big stars. And then the drugs and the fights and the band splits up and I'm not even in a band. So who am I gonna fight with? Your book is coming out in about a month. I know. You did release one excerpt, which was awesome. You told the story about kind of getting broken up with. I mean, oh, just yeah. diggity dumped, oh. just hardcore. Well, what would you tell your 21-year-old self now? That guy was boring anyway. Don't seek that validation exclusively from people who don't want to give it to you. Next, do you know what you're doing next, Anna? I don't know. A big hole in the Kendrick schedule. I just wish I knew someone who was. Directing an action movie and could cast little me. <laughs> I wish. First apartment in LA was um, with a girl that I met um, through uh, like an email of a friend of a friend of a friend was looking for an apartment. She was 26, and I uh, told her all about how I would be such a great roommate, and I'm gonna, I'm moving to LA. I would love to rent the room. And then once it was all settled, I was like, by the way, I'm 17. Okay, see you soon. Her reaction was like, I'm not looking to babysit anyone. And I was like, don't even worry about it, girl. I'm a professional. And then like proceeded to do my best impression of a functioning adult. And I'm still doing it.
So, was she ever a diehard NSYNC fan? Da, da, da. But I'm glad that I wasn't like a super fan because otherwise I would be really weird around my coworker. Oh my god. There is the plan to make a Batman movie. Holy coincidence, Batman! Any room for a plucky sidekick? Oh my god. How did Where that... did you get a cake? Your mom. Oh, my first on screen kiss was actually like my my first union movie uh, when I was uh, 19, Rocket Science, and I kissed a boy who was 15 or 16, so I felt pretty creepy. That already played oh, because you're oh no 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 because you're, you're a man and only that. men can play no, 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 Batman. No. To be fair, gender that, specific. Wow, yeah. microaggression. What? This it is 2016, and I don't need this patriarchal bullshit from either of you. That's not. I, I'm not saying couldn't do it. I'm not saying a woman could. He do just do got it. started. Do I not have He's the just... stamina? Do I not have the look? No one's Mr. Saying. Trump.